Hi, this is Dr. Gary. Welcome to the Daily Tune-Up today. I've been enjoying doing this morning television program over the internet now for almost three months. And the interesting thing is most of the questions are still relationship oriented. People wanting to know what about a relationship, what do you do in this situation or that situation. But I got a real serious call just this morning that I talked about on the air and I'm going to share it with all you tune-uppers because some of you might be in this situation. The person asked me, how do you know it's time to quit on a relationship? How do you really know? Because most of the time we get married to stay married. We get married because we love that person and we do not visualize an end coming to that. And when we get in trouble in a relationship, many times we don't realize it's happening until sometimes it's too late. So with this person, they felt like they were out of love with their spouse and their spouse was out of love with them. They argued and fought continuously and they felt that there was no hope left. And really, hope's a virus word. You have to facilitate the change, but here's the key. Both parties have to take responsibility for the failure of the relationship until both parties can understand what they contributed because it's a 50-50 deal. You're not going to get anywhere negotiating a settlement. You're not going to get anywhere negotiating a remarriage or even getting along. And I always look at parents that have kids when they're facing divorce. One of the things, the most precious things you have to save in this relationship is the legacy of the family. Remember, your kids are still there, and they may have grandkids, so you've got to settle and resolve this with your partner anyway. And I think we opt for staying married first. However, if there's so much water under the bridge that you just cannot go there because of anger, of things said, and you can't recoil on it and take it back yourself and apologize, and they can't apologize to you, it's probably over. But here's what you have to understand. I'm not a marriage counselor. I suggest that you go to a coach somebody who does relationship coaching, someone who does resolution management, and work through this. But anyone who, that's in a situation where you're not getting along with your spouse, it doesn't mean that the relationship doesn't work. It actually means there's chances there for it to work because there's anger and frustration. It's just pointed in the wrong direction. If each person will take responsibility for their share and their failure in this relationship and what they did wrong and what the other person is telling them that they have to change, and then the other party does that too, you got a relationship that's going to work. You just got to get back on common ground. Always fight for your relationship. Never race off to divorce court. I know so many people that have done that end up getting remarried again because they looked at what's out there and what they had was better than anything else they found and they got remarried and they recommitted and it worked. So work on that. These relationships are the toughest work you'll ever do. I can tell you this, if you do not have one, you're not growing. Relationships force our growth, whether we want to grow or not. They're great even when they're not working, because you're about ready to learn something. So let's work on it. Until tomorrow, this is Dr. Gary wishing you a great time resolving your relationship. Until then, bye-bye.